Okay guys, what's going on? This is Liam and today uh, we have an interesting topic, a uh, topic I'm going to discuss which is a question that I get a lot. Now I find that people need hope. Uh, people need hope that they can silence their tinnitus because so many people have gotten tinnitus from so many different ways and when they go to their ENT they go, hey I got tinnitus from a knock to the head or I got it from depression or I got it from medication. I got it from free diving, I got it from barotrauma, I got it from a knock to the ear, I got it from loud noises. And they go to the, the ENT and says, oh, well, you know, um, I got it from this this way. And the ENT doesn't want to hear about it. As soon as the ENT hears tonight, I say, yeah, uh, just, just get out of my office, there's nothing we can do, which is not helpful or factual. There is something you can do. In fact, it's pretty easy to silence tonight as hypercuse as you get the drill by now, right? So when you come to me, uh, you see all these people getting silenced, rightly so, because it's pretty damn easy to do, actually. Well, it's easy to know what to do. Doing it is another whole thing, right? Because nothing in life worth doing is easy or free, uh, really. And so you come to me and you go, well, Liam, what if I got tinnitus from this or that or this? Practically, I've seen everything under the sun, from gunshot sound to gunshot wounds to... Um, People from childhood abuse, uh, drug addiction, depression, malnutrition, veganism, uh, breast implants, toxic tampons, um, you name it. I mean, you bloody name it, I've got it. But what people need, the real question that people should be asking, which still isn't even, there's layers to questions. What people should be asking is, hey Liam, I got it from this specific thing. And people do ask this actually, what should I do? What is the specific route to silence I should take based upon how I believe I contracted my tinnitus? And the answer to one person is exactly the same answer to another. Let me explain. If you got tinnitus from a parasite, from chemotherapy, from a medication, once again, breast implants, that's a big one. Don't get that shit put in if you've got to put it. If, you know, root canals, it's a doozy. Uh, mold, you know, you name it. The route to silence is always the same. Now, you might have to do different things, but I've got a list of everything, okay? In my course, click below to get it, or you can just go through my videos. It's up to you. It's all free. Just do it. Really, just do it, guys. Come on. It's all there. So it's always going to be the same thing, but you might have to do it in a different order. You might have to do one thing more than the other. Like, you know, you might have to do a gallstone cleanse and someone else has to do a dry fast, but it's basically the exact same thing. It really is. And what confuses people is when people say, well, Liam, I got a, let's take, an, let's take a couple of examples. Let's take Jesse. Okay, here's a video of Jesse. I'm not sure where it's gonna show up, but you'll see it. Or Jess, rather. And uh, she got tinnitus from an ear infection. And she went to her doctors and her doctor said, there's nothing you can do, blah, 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 the usual crap. And she came to me and I think she got silenced at about three, four months, something like that. And the thing that really got her silence was wearing Ra Optics Blue Blockers, which is something I talk about a lot. You avoid artificial light like I'm doing now, which is not what you should be doing. I'm doing it for the video though. And wearing Ra Optics, okay? Or Blue Blockers. I mean, people get those clear blue blockers off Amazon, you're getting scammed. If you try, if you, if you try to save money, you get what you paid for. And if you pay cheap, you get shit. That's the reality of the situation. Just get Ra Optics, don't fuck it up. Guys, just do it the right way first. Don't waste time. Why would you want to spend another day, hour, month, or minute with tonight when you don't have to? Just do it. Just do what I tell you. Just do what I tell you. It's easy, right? I've done all the work for you, really. I mean, I've been doing this. I've been, I've been working, helping people for four and a half years now, and I had tinnitus for four years. Okay, now I've had silence for four and a half years. Probably worth listening to. Okay, and just doing what I say. Don't ask why. That's the okay. I'm only a bit of a tangent, but I can, I can talk. I can, I can talk about this for a long time. And people have been asking me, are you going to do live talks, live talks? And yeah, I am. I want to do live talks. As soon as this nonsense with restrictions stops, I'm going around Europe. Anyway, people say, oh yeah, Liam, I'll do this, but I want to do this, but why? Why do I have to do this? Like, it just, you don't, we all, we both know that you don't really give a shit why. You, who, who gives a fuck? You just don't want to do it. That's the fact. These are the facts. And I don't want to, yes, but no, no, no. As soon as I hear someone say, but, whether it's in my paid group or someone just texts me or my assistant sends me an email, I think you should take a look at it and say, yes, but, just get rid of it. Because what's the point? Because if you're, not, if you're gonna do it and you're gonna argue with me about something, then I just, I just, 
it's it's sad. It's frustrating to me because I know you can have silence if you just do it. <laughs> anyway, back to the point, okay? Just do it. I want to read you something. Uh, and Jesse, yeah, so silence after an irrigation from Ra Optics, why would that work? Well, it's because she's now sleeping properly and her body can heal herself and she woke up with silence. She's had silence for like a year and a half now. Do what I say. It's simple. It's so easy. It's free. Come on, guys. Uh, this, is a, this is what I got from someone uh, two days ago. My tinnitus is almost gone. Most of the time it's so low, I really have to listen to it. I've been doing everything you said. No coffee or tea, getting sun and grounding, limiting Wi-Fi, no vegetables. The final thing was raw optics. This is not Jesse, by the way. This is someone else. See? Different people, different causes. Same fucking solution every time. Listen to what I have to say, please. It's for your own good. And I just described to you like a great chunk of stuff. Okay? I wear the yellow ones every day and uh, the red ones and what is it? I wear the yellow ones every day at work as I have no natural light. This person is a nurse. Only artificial light and computer screens for 10 hour shifts. When I used to drive home from work, the ringing was so bad, now I can hardly hear it. Um, and going to sleep at night is really easy. There's no ringing. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. Why is it that I can have someone come to me who got tinnitus from food poisoning and cold showers is the thing that helps them the most? Remember, it's not just one thing, it's multiple things. Why is it that I can have a woman who gave birth and the thing that helps her the most is muscle release? These are all real cases, by the way. Cases, clients, not patients. I don't want to be associated with doctors. I don't have any patients. Only fucking idiots who go to medical school have patients, morons. Why is it that someone who got tinnitus from a knock to the head, the main thing that gets them silence is sun exposure? Why is it that someone who can take a medication and get tinnitus so bad that they try to kill themselves gets silence from dry fasting? And all those people did not just those one things, respectively, but everything else to varying degrees. But of course, you find something that works great for you, you do more of it. It's because the root cause of tinnitus is mitochondrial dysfunction. Tinnitus, hyperacusis, pulsatile tinnitus, vertigo, hearing loss, visual snow. I don't know how many times I have to tell people to just do it. Just do it. The pain of tinnitus is fucking unbearable. I know. I know. So stop watching other people on the internet. Just stop. Sounds arrogant, but no one else can hold a fucking candle to what I'm doing here. And I mean that. And when someone can, I'll take it back. But until then, you need to know that you're not only in the right place to get silence, but you are in the best place on the planet. Cheapest, most effective, quickest and safest. Here. And you're going to ask me why you should do it or what the meaning is behind it. No excuses. I remember having tinnitus and planning how I was going to kill myself. And I have, I, I, I got in contact, I got a, a, um, a phone call the other day, I did it as a favor. Someone who gave me a testimonial said, look, I gave you a testimonial, can you, you know, this woman's going to call you, she just needs like five minutes of your time. Guys, if you, if you give me a testimonial, because many people say they will and they don't, but if you give me a testimonial, I'll make time for you, okay? So if you, if you do a testimonial, only if you actually have silence you'll get better treatment as a thank you. It's just the way that it is. Um, and I had a lady call me and she said she had tinnitus for two years and she tried to fucking kill herself. Not uncommon, because ENTs are useless. And uh, she survived and then she found me and now her tinnitus is basically gone and she can live her life again. And you're here asking bullshit questions to avoid doing anything. Well, it's time to fucking stop. Apply everything I tell you safely for fuck's sake and get the silence. In five years time, if, if people still think that tinnitus is for life, I have fucking failed. I'll go into a fucking cave and live there forever. Okay? Tinnitus is not for life. Don't freak out. Don't watch other people's content. It's a fucking waste of time. And have a great day.